if you live in New Tampa, there is a delicious new option for your next dining adventure, Huelo Mexican Grill. Yes. Uh, our nominee chef Mark Esty, who has also appeared on the Food Network. He's lent us his personal touches to the menu, and he joins us today to make one of his signature dishes. So nice to see you. Nice Thank to you. See you. Thanks for having us here. Good really morning. Yeah. Thank you. What does Huelo mean? Huelo is uh, to take flight. To take so, flight. So okay. We, so the Mexican Grill, our concepts uh, based on a lot of salsas and fresh uh, food. Mm -hmm. uh, we make everything in the house, and we're really excited about that. You know, it's a, it's a it's a cool way of kind of showing uh, what Mexican food can be. And we put a little Latin influence in that. In Let's just say, because when you say Mexican in a Mexican menu, it, there's so much variety. Yeah. So how yeah. do you describe what this particular Mexican menu is all about? So we probably say that we really want to take on uh, uh, making everything authentically the right okay. way. But we added some touches in there to make it a little bit more healthy, almost a little bit lighter to a certain degree Ooh, in some nice. areas. But you still have to have the, the basics, right? So you still have to have the great pork. You still have the great chicken. We do a lot of things with vegetables. Uh, and we also do things with uh, carne asada mm -hmm. and uh, different beef. So today we're going to make uh, chicken enchiladas. Well, we're can't hungry. To get can those. we get started? Yeah, let's get, get started. started. And yeah, I'll be rude, too. but no, you can no, not at all. Yeah. Let's That's get not, going. Not at all. So you have, speaking of healthy, you have a salsa bar too. We have there. a salsa bar, right? Okay. So you have a little sampling of the salsa bar here. And this is when you come in, this is kind of a cool thing. You get to come up and, you know, make your own touches that make uh, the mm -hmm. salsa the way you want to have it. So one of the things we try to do here is, you know, these, these tortillas, fresh tortillas made here in Florida. We take these, we soften them up to make the, uh, to make the enchiladas. So oh. there's a little bit of oil in here, okay. and that just allows them to get a little bit more pliable, okay? So then that, as simple as that, we'll just do it. These corn two. tortillas or flour tortillas? These are corn tortillas. Uh, to make things uh, gluten free, mm -hmm. you know, and if you wanted them, sometimes we do, uh, we can have the substitute if you wanted the substitute. Okay, a flour, flour. tortilla, yeah, you're flour welcome to. Mm -hmm. gluten. So we come over here. Next, we're going to take some of our chicken. And okay. this is flavored, I can this smell it. This is achayote it. chicken right mm -hmm. here, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay some of that in right now. Achayote chicken. Okay. And what that is, is I'm going to use my tongs and take, this is uh, the chicken breast that's been marinated in this special marinade. And the achayote chicken really is a mix of annatto seed and some lemon juice and lime juice and sour orange juice. And this is how we sear up the chicken, that's right? Good. But for TV purposes, yeah. we, may, we have, we have some already pre-cut for us and here. for okay? hungry host purposes. Yes. Hungry host purposes, which are very important. What's All that right? one thing you mentioned, annatto? I've never annato, heard of that. Annatto, annatto seed. seed, yes. Annato so that's, seed. Where, uh, that's where achayote comes from. So it's just like, a, sometimes it's used just a color, but it has a really nice flavor to it. And when you mix it up with the lime juice, it kind of activates and mm -hmm. gives you a nice little char on here. Okay, so we take a little bit of the cheese. All right, and we're just getting ready to roll these little puppies up. All right. Okay, so tonight we have a tequila tasting uh, going right. on tonight, a tequila menu. Tequila Tuesdays. Tequila it's Tuesdays. Taco Tuesdays. Taco Y'all are doing Tuesdays. Tequila. And so we what have you a do fun is you menu. do pairings with tequila. And I, I know a little bit about what to pair wines with, but yep. I wouldn't have the foggiest yeah. idea of what goes with what tequilas. How and, do you do that? And that's 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 a great thing. Well, we, we taste a lot of tequila, so yeah. that's a lot, that, that, <laughs> that becomes kind of fun, right? But um, so different tequilas made have different uh, ages, made in different oak casks mm -hmm. and aged okay. certain ways. So you can really kind of put together let that tequila flavor come out and we match it up with the different foods and it doesn't have to just be shots it can be served up it can be served neat they can serve them uh, mm -hmm. we serve them as part of a cocktail mm -hmm. okay cool right. so here we can put the enchiladas in it this is easy as that right see how easy that was up then this, this is something we could do at home I'm following home. you so far this will be some this is our green enchilada sauce that's what, is it, what color sauce because right. enchiladas there's green there's all all different yeah. ones we really love this okay. we really love this one um, that's one of the things we make is all the things we do are kind of made in the, in, in the house. That's got about 17 different ingredients in that get roasted really slow. We wow. strain it all out. Wow. So this here then just pops into the oven. Okay. Okay. All right. So we so can do those. So while we do that, we can do the refreshments. We can do the refreshments. And if you want to give us a hand here, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be your I'm not going to drink, gonna drink it. Work, I'm going to have you <laughs> get some ice in it. here. Okay. okay. All right. We're going to check, test your bartending skills. And that, that no. little, <laughs> this little strut right here, this is our mixture of, uh, you okay. can pour that pour right in. Okay, pour this whole thing in. Yeah. Got it. Kind of and this is a mixture of? Tequila, Cointreau, lime okay. juice. Okay, it smells right. really good. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. And then we took this out of the way, and I put a little extra shot in here. Okay. Lemon juice, you want to do it? Uh, <laughs> sure. You got yeah, it, okay. you've got a shake. <laughs> yeah, you know, right over the head. A little over the head, yeah. Okay, right, come on down, all right. <laughs> There we go. You got okay, it? Okay, yes. And then over here. Yes. This is going to come up here. That's going to be one of our Look at margaritas. That. Okay. Mm, that looks so pretty. And then, you know, we can have this. It's, 
on Tuesdays, it's a perfect time mm -hmm. to have tequila, margaritas, taste some of our salsas. What's um, been the most, you guys have been open for a couple months now. What's a couple been months? the most popular thing on the menu? You know, you we, think? we do these burritos that's kind of the wet style. Mm -hmm. So you have the, we, have, we use the red enchilada sauce and the green enchilada sauce. You have a wet burrito. We do mocajates, which is kind of a fancy Ooh, elevated. I've never heard of those. It's a, it's, a, it's a lava bowl that we heat up, gets really, really hot in the oven. And we kind of put together different fish or beef mm -hmm. or chicken and it goes in and it kind of bubbles out. Uh -huh. It's called the lava bowl. It's a bubbling thing. We also do fajitas. Uh, we've been listening to our customers a lot. We're, we're taking these enchiladas and we have, now we're doing different styles of enchiladas, more types of enchiladas. Because with that Mexican, you're right, where people really expect to have that kind of familiar food that they know. Mm -hmm. But when you walk in, we also do things like shishito peppers, which are really healthy, or oh, oven sure. roasted cauliflower, which is really healthy. Uh, so we try to keep a nice little mix in there for How everybody. Do you tell people where you guys are located, by the way, if someone in New Tampa, there's a lot of stuff going on there's in New Tampa There's a lot of stuff going on in New Tampa. So we're on Bruce B. Downs yeah. Boulevard, okay? okay? Everyone can get to the Home Depot. Mm -hmm. So you go into the Home Depot, you make a left, and you'll follow us down. You see us with a beautiful, we have a beautiful mural painted okay. on the side of the building. And we, you can't miss us. Okay. And when you come in, you'll be so, you'll be very happy that you came down to visit us. All right. Bet. So I bet. can yeah. we oh, check in our right? Right? Let's see how we did. dive in? Let's, okay. let's see how we did. And for the and for the beautiful part of uh, having our TV restaurant oh, here. So uh, pretty. It's uh, pretty. Pop that out here. Yes. And here's our beautiful dish. All right, chef. Okay. Thank you. Thank right, you. Guys thank you. Congratulations Thanks on the us. opening of uh, the new restaurant. Appreciate Check it out again in New Tampa. We'll make sure and put details on our website. Thank you so much. All right.